What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I've got a new money method route which can make you a lot of money. I did actually have this ready before the update. The tire update kind of screwed it over because you can no longer use animal carcasses to attract fish in. So I've changed it up a bit but you can still make yourself about $80, $90 within about 20 minutes if you are quick. There is quite a bit of traveling but all you have to do is first off what I do is I head all the way over to this location right here and you probably know this it's been a bunch of different methods on this already on this channel some of them have been from months and months ago but the first one is you go to Stillwater Creek so once you head over to this area all you need to do is go over to this little bit of water here and pull out your fishing rod it is easy as that pretty much it does take quite some time sometimes they'll spawn in straight away sometimes you could just pull out your fishing rod and fish will start spawning in other times you have to wait a couple minutes put something on the end of your line and then just just wait for a bit eventually fish will spawn in what i normally do is i go and chuck my fishing rod in and then as, as you can see a fish spawned immediately but i want more than just one fish so i keep on throwing this in use my different lures and there we go a bunch of fish just spawned in just like that as easy as that i'm still going to go through all the different lures though i've got a special spin i've got a swamp lure i've got a lake lure and a river lure i just used my uh, river lure so we are going to go and use a lake lure hoping that this will just get a few more fish in. it may only be a couple but that is that's all you really have to do like i said we got kind of lucky here we got very lucky here that fish spawned in straight away and uh we didn't have to wait about with anything like that um a lot of the time most of the time in fact you'll come over here you'll go and chuck your fishing rod in and no fish will spawn now spawn over in that one there wait so what you have to do is just keep on chucking your fishing rod in and then fish will come over here but normally what i do if i had more time i would keep going through all the different lures to go and get all these fish but because we've already got quite a few all you need to do is just run across if you run across fish will just swim out they will disperse and they'll go onto the land fortunately rockstar have not patched that if fish still uh, swim up on land they will die you can go around and pick them up just like that giving you a perfect fish uh, we've got a largemouth bass, they normally go for, I think, $2. A bluegill, I think, is $75. You'll get rock bass, a smallmouth bass, those go for, I think, $1. You'll get a pickerel, which I think go for a dollar as well. Uh, and I think that's all the fish that you'll be getting from this area. I might be wrong, though. Uh, so we have a pickerel here. Normally what will happen is you'll get five or six largemouth bass. You'll get maybe, uh, I think, you'll... you'll you should be able to get 10 pickerels, so that's $10 just like that. Uh, if you do not like to go and run around chasing all these different fish, you can shoot them. It's pretty easy to just go and shoot the larger fish as I go and I'm struggling. Okay, that one's too close to me. That one's way too close. So, and I missed that one. Say so it's easy, miss it. There we go. So that's all you have to do. You can either shoot them or you can just run around picking all these fish up. It takes about five minutes to clear this pond. Sometimes what does happen, uh, and this one is a bit rare, once you go and kill all the fish, what might happen is you'll have, say, one or two fish swimming in, and then all of a sudden, a ton of fish will spawn in again, meaning that you can keep on doing this for quite some time. So as you just saw there, two or three fish just spawned in again, so I can then go, and that one just spawned in, and then just swam straight up. So I can keep on doing this. It seems like since the patch, since the title update, fish actually spawn more so this area has become a lot better but we're slowly clearing this out and we're getting ready to head to the next location so before i head off i have just been walking around picking up all the extra fish and then a bunch more fish has just spawned in i said this was rare but it seems like this is a common thing now since the title update that if you just wait around a bit longer a bunch of other fish are just going to spawn in now i'm just going to go around this area clearing out what's already been killed as there's stuff just laying about from previously and i'm going to head to the next location but realistically if you was going to stick around doing this method you will go and kill all of those fish as well just to go and put them in your satchel and then you'll be heading to the next location so the next location to come to is just here just outside blackwall and what you should have is a ton of bison spawning in now i have had a few problems with this area recently of it not being too good but it looks like we have got three four maybe three or four normally there used to be a lot more around here i don't know what's happened with this but all you need to do is go for those headshots just like that try killing all of them i don't think i feel like if i kill them what's going to happen is they're just going to despawn by the time i get over there. i think they're slowing down but with this one you do not want to actually pick up the, the the skin and all that just skin the animal itself uh, as soon as you skin it just drop it just that's it you don't really want the skin 
Uh, it doesn't really go for too much. I think it's like four or five dollars if you can get a perfect one. Nothing too special, but you do want all that prime beef and all of that to be just added to your uh, satchel. Uh, I feel, and that's why that's why I didn't shoot him. But what you can do normally is uh, go around, go kill all these different bisons and uh, you can just put them into your satchel, but it looks like they are despawning right now. I do not know what it is. I feel like Rockstar said they were going to work on this stuff, but there used to be a ton. You used to get like maybe eight or nine round here. You used to be able to go and kill all of them and then just go and put that to your satchel. Now you go and kill one, they run off, they get to a po point of where it's just past these plants here and then they die. If you was to come from a different angle and do this method in reverse, so from the third uh, from the third location, second, this being the second one, you will be coming from this angle here. So it might be a bit better, but it seems like every time I come from this angle right now, uh, you have them despawning right here. If you can kill them as quickly as possible, I just killed the one, thinking that I can then go and chase after the bisons and kill them. Maybe... Um, it would have worked a bit better instead of just trying to just wait. Uh, kill them all in straight away. Kill them from maybe use a sniper somewhere from this angle over here. Just try and kill them. Get the headshots. Use your bolt action rifle. Get headshots. Kill them. Let them lay down. And then you go and skin them. And then hopefully that'll be a bit better. We only got one. Normally you can get quite a few though. But let's head all the way over to the final location. So this is the last location that I head to. So right on the map, just here, still outside Blackwater, not too far. We travelled from here to go and get the bisons. And then we're going to head all the way over to the butchers just there. Yo, that was just weird. This guy just spawned in the water. What the hell? Um, but from here, if I collected a lot of fish from the first location, what I normally do is just go for a lake sturgeon. As somehow I did not kill that. Don't know how I did not kill that. But normally I just go for a lake sturgeon around this location if you are someone that um, managed to not get too many fish on the first location what you can do is you can get a few fish around here and uh, and I missed it again and I missed it again and again how the hell I missed it four times I missed that four times but normally you can go and shoot a lake sturgeon straight away making that a two-star fish and you can go and put that on the back of the horse that is why I do not go and collect any of the bisons that's why I do not put any of that on the back of my horse because you can get a lake sturgeon which goes for I think a bit more money and uh, honestly it's just a bit better it's just a bit better I prefer going and get fish instead of all this uh, animal hide for some strange reason right now I am not able to go and shoot these fish but it looks like this lake sturgeon is coming to the side if you cannot shoot the fish what you can do is try and push it just up on the side and I feel like we've got this one just here and it's a three star one so that's very good that is what we're looking for but as I said if you are struggling or if you are someone that did struggle to go and get fish in the first location maybe that not as many spawned in as what did for me then head over to this location you can get quite a few fish I haven't really put my fishing rod in I just come over here and just waited and uh, these lake sturgeons have spawned in if you really wanted to you can actually go and get a second horse whilst coming to this location you can go and get two lake sturgeons and put that on the back of both your horses and then ride back the other horse but right now we're gonna be heading all the way back to black war to the butchers to go and sell all of our stuff it's not gonna be as much as what I normally get just because we didn't get as many bisons we only got the one bison but I do think that we got a lot more fish so it might actually even out but normally as I said at the beginning of this video we can get ourselves a lot of money anywhere between like 18 90 dollars in just maybe 20 minutes and that is how long it has taken me to record this video it's gonna be a lot shorter for you because I've cut in between uh, different segments different locations but for me this should be pretty easy and there's actually a lot of red round here hopefully hopefully we don't get absolutely killed right now whilst we're just gonna go and bring everything in I know we haven't got too much laying on the back of the horse but I, I just don't want to get killed. Really do not want to get killed. Another thing you could do, and I haven't really done it too much. I've done it once, I think. I feel like we should have some feathers here, which is a seagull feathers. I only killed that because I had that as one of my daily challenges. But there are a lot of birds that you can kill. You can also go and kill deers. Uh, you can also get some bears on the way back from the first location, heading all the way to the second location to go and get the bisons. And also you can go and get some pro hong hide. All of that different stuff to put on the back of yours. I haven't done any of that, but we should be making ourselves some decent money anyway. So with the prime beef joint, normally you can get a full satchel of this. Unfortunately, we didn't, but that would have been a uh, £4.50. £4? 
I went British there. Uh, Four dollars and fifty cents, which is not too bad. Largemouth bass, we only got two. As I said, if you were struggling to get in the first location, you can easily get it in the second location. Uh, rock bass, you normally always get ten. You should always be able to get ten of them, so that's ten dollars. Chain pickerel, sometimes you can get ten. It depends which one's spawning more. It seems like in the first location, it's either going to spawn more rock bass or it's going to spawn more pickerel. It doesn't really matter which one spawns more because they both go for the same price. But normally, it is the pickerel. Today we got lucky and it ended up being the rock bass. And then we got some feathers. Like I said, you can get a lot more feathers. Redfin pickerel as well. Only two of them, so that's only two dollars. Bison horn. Normally you should be able to get a lot more of these if you kill more bisons. We only killed one, so we're only getting 75 cents. But yet again, most of the time you can go and get maybe six or seven, maybe even a full satchel, and that's seven dollars and fifty cents. Gave me Birdby, and then finally a lake sturgeon, which goes for seven dollars. So hardly nowhere near what we normally get but that is still a good pull for how long it took us anyway plus we got daily challenges completed which i think will give us 0.1 gold which is pretty decent anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya